Hey, what up guys? Um, I've been on nights. I haven't been able to get to the vice because of that. My, you know, my five to five job gets in the way. But I got a decent sized group of guys going to the green this upcoming weekend, um, which I need to provide a lot of jigs for, which I enjoy. Uh, today we're gonna tie my second favorite one to tie. Pretty fun because it deals with something my dad did when he tied. Um, he used to tie uh, Bernicio, is what we called it. It was just a scud pattern out of our dog's hair. Well, I've taken that now and I've tied a jig out of my cat's hair when we brush her. I collect it, add some UV uh, dubbing to it. Uh, works great, ends up looking something like that. And I tie it on a Twitch shank by Spawn. One of my favorite products, you start with your trailer, get that all tied up, and then just slide on the jig head. And then that forms your jig. A lot of motion out of it, up, down, side to side. It's a great way to add extra motion. Get that in the vise. We're gonna do 210 white denier thread. If you guys hear loud crashes, we're going through this. That's my family coming home. Got a little break as my wife went to pick up all the kids from school. So I figured I'd jump on here and tie this up and get some other jigs made up. First, we're gonna start off with, uh, as always, Marabou for the tail. I've already plucked out the tips. Add that in, not going super long on the tail. There we go. Hold it better lined up. That's about right. Capture that. Cut off the excess, like I always do, I like to try and work everything around that shank before I capture everything really well. There's our tail. As always, we are going to add in UV Crystal Pearl Flash. Um, I don't do as much in this tail because the body has a decent amount of flash in it. So I go with two strands. Go ahead and trap that in there. Rotate to the other side. go we're gonna do one dubbing loop on this to start uh, the, the jig itself I don't do a big one because uh, I'm just adding a little bit to cover up the thread base here and this one I do just out of pure cat no flash in it whatsoever Spread it out and spin away. Trying not to get my tear feathers in there, but they're in there. Which is all right. I'm not too worried about it, and they came out nicely. I'm just gonna brush that up. I'm 
I said, this first one is just to cover up our threads. Nothing serious. Good tight wraps around that base, palmering the cap backwards. And chick's about to come out of the vise, which always sucks. I'm gonna catch it. And then we'll readjust my jig. The vise I bought is a Renzetti Traveler. It's got a pretty small head on it. It's not necessarily the best for tying streamers, applying a decent amount of pressure. So kind of keep that in mind if you're looking to get into it. Um, kind of think about that. I didn't. I thought I was going to tie a lot more uh, nymphs and realized I enjoy tying and fishing streamers more. So that's our tail. Just got to do a whip finish on it. Go ahead and we will whip out our Longest fibers. Then all you gotta do is start the next process before you pull it out of the vise. Grab a twitch shank, throw it in. Land a little super glue. Not my favorite super glue, use it for archery. Ran out of Zappa Gap would be my favorite. But as I'm going through this, I don't want it to sit there, so I'm gonna blot out the rest. <coughs> Let's grab the jig. We're just barely, well, I'll show you without. We are just barely gonna snag the back of it. Just want it to sit right, right as the curve around on the shank comes. Let's get it pinched in there. Line up your vise. Right, pull it back. And then you just got to start your thread base. I'm behind the jig's head itself. Just come around. Then you pinch it on and you're there. So the front of this is all going to be dubbing loops. Um, if I do it right, it will be one. I usually always end up short or way over. Oh, let's go for, you know, spot on this go around. and wrap around. We're gonna come around our dubbing loop twice, pull it tight, and then come back forward. Put that down. Then we're gonna grab the cat fiber that has the UV pearl in it. We're gonna palmer it. Try and get all the fibers going. Pretty close in the same direction. Try and grab thick spots and pull them out. And we'll just grab a clump of that. A little bit smaller group to work with. Let's spread it out in our dubbing loop. Go ahead and open that up. Spread that out the best we can. And a bit more. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead 
go. Just spin it up as it goes. Gets tighter and tighter and tighter. Material starts to look rough. Um, don't worry about that. You want to make sure you get your spin all the way down, about midway through. Bring your brush, toothbrush, whatever you may choose. And really pick at those thick areas. are going to lose material at this part and that's fine keep twisting we're gonna wrap sorry about that bump wrap back This one's gonna have entirely too much, which is all right. Coming to one of the thinner sections, which I don't mind ending on. I'm gonna pull one more tight around that head. Be careful not to over pull. Like we saw in other videos, you can break your thread, especially here. We're just gonna capture our dubbing loop. I prefer to try and leave as little thread as possible as I finish these up. I think it looks better than having a giant thread collar on the jig. So I pulled real close to that head and try and pull everything down in and under. Building up the thread base as we go around to try and cover everything and hold it down tight. And stupid simple, just grab your super glue. Put the mount on that thread. This is gonna get on the jig head, which at times can make it a pain to whip finish. But like I said, makes it a pain. I got a little bit of glue on my whip finish. Just cut it out early and tug it through. Um, not a big deal. Do it again. That is it. Nice and clean. Come in, brush. And that is what we call the catnip. Super easy, effective. And it's tied out of a renewable source. My cat, good shake on the tail, up, down, side to side. Um, there you guys go.